Hi, welcome to the Ask Patrick series. Today's question is by Pratyan Sarkar. The question is how to address the problem of fluctuating DILR scores. Look, I understand that both in the con in the verbal and the DILR the fluctuations are lots, and DILR definitely because if I get one set correct, I'll directly get all four correct and get twelve marks, right? But if I don't crack the set, twelve marks are gone. So it just depends on the cracking of the set. So the fluctuations are normally there. There's a second factor that that increases the fluctuation in DLR. Is that if I don't get the first set, the stress levels are much higher, and there's a chance I may not get the other sets. But if I may get the first set, there's a chance I'm more relaxed. I may then smoothly progress in the other sets. Two factors at least. Okay. Uh, with the first factor that is clicking of the set or not clicking of the set is works on practice the more you practice the better you will be and the better you'll be able to solve okay look at different type of questions practice try to form patterns there are normal patterns to be solved when you look at dilr sets try to form patterns and try to solve that that will definitely help you to improve on your dilr skills coming to the second part of it the stress part of it it is very important to relax in the dilr section because the biggest problem in terms of stress that i've seen among students is the dilr section because one set you don't get and then your confidence level goes down because you've wasted a lot of time on one set but that is what you need to keep relaxed about it and normally tell students that we don't know how to you know dilr section is till the results come out because i've seen students you know coming out and saying that oh i've not been able to solve too many questions in dilr normally people should solve three sets four sets i only have been able to solve couple of sets or whatever sets and when the results came out they realized they did very well in dilr but because of the stress level of dilr they couldn't do well in cot i mean they did well in dilr mainly because paper stuff and the cutoffs went down and they could clear the cutoffs but in a con section because of the problem in dilr they couldn't solve it okay very common so in a dilr section one thing don't give up till the end I and mean, even if you don't get the first set don't get a second set keep going on i mean i've seen people you know in the last 10 15 minutes solving two sets suddenly you get two sets clicks and you get the answer you don't know till the end the first thing in dilr don't get demotivated during the paper keep going on till the time is over for a dilr section so even if you solve one set completely i think that is fine because we don't know the difficulty level of the paper we will come to know only after the results come out second ensure that your problem in dilr should not affect your con section even if you feel a dilr has gone bad ensure that you give your best in the con section try to clear your mind from the dilr section and try to do your best as far as the con section is concerned normally in a two hour paper or any aptitude paper don't give up till the end don't try to predict how you are doing how you are not doing in the exam the biggest problem is during the paper we predict oh my paper is not doing well or my paper is doing well and then we accordingly you know change the whole pattern don't do that just push yourself in a two hour paper till the end without trying to predict how much your scores are going to be and if you do focus throughout in a two hour paper you will end up scoring good marks and that is what is required you will end up clearing the cutoffs that's what is important right i hope that is clear so practice that's one part secondly try to maintain your stress levels as far as possible without giving up in the entire period of the exam hope that clear thank you